Today in this 2002 Chrysler Town & Country, we're going to install part number 36296 from Draw Tight. Now this is what the hitch looks like when it's installed on the vehicle. Next we'll give you some measurements that'll help you out in selecting some accessories, such as a cargo carrier or a bicycle rack. From top of the receiver opening down to the ground will be about 13 and a quarter inches. And from the center of a hitch pin hole to the edge of a bumper will be about four and three quarter inches. Now I'll go ahead and show you how the hitch is installed. First thing we need to do is get underneath the vehicle and we need to remove the front bumper bolts. You'll see two bolts at the bottom of the frame. Now it's a good idea to spray these down really good with some lubricant before we unbolt them. And usually it's a good idea to unbolt these by hand because if you use an impact right off the bat, you can break the bolts. Now we'll go ahead and install a new stud that will go in the bolt's place. We'll thread it in as far as we can by finger tight. And if need to, we'll take some pliers to the edge of it and run it as far as possible. We don't have to seat it all the way. Once we tighten it down for good, it'll be tightened into the frame. Now we'll go ahead and remove the rear bumper bolts in the same fashion as we did the other ones. At this point, we can go ahead and install the hitch. We'll go ahead and put the hitch up against the frame and use the original bolts closest to the bumper to hold it in place. And then we'll install the rest of the hardware going towards the front. We'll install the flap lock, lock washer, and the nut. Once all our hardware is installed, we can go ahead and tighten it down and then torque it down as specified in the instructions. And with that, that'll finish it for our install part number 36296 from Draw Tight on our 2002 Chrysler Town & Country.